Hello guys, I'm back. Two uploads in a week. What's going on? Anyway, um, it's the end of October. The clocks have just gone back. It's freezing cold. It's 9.20 a.m. Well, here I am uh, on my bike um, and heading to do a charity run. So if you're from Liverpool or the surrounding areas, you might have heard of Zoe's Place, which is a charity set up um, to help children aged 0 to 5 with complex illnesses um, in Liverpool so basically they support them through their very early stage of life uh, and they've been struggling to, to remain open so they, they put out like a bit of a you know a bit of a SOS if you will um, saying that basically without the funding we can't carry on and obviously a lot of uh, there's people I know who have had children there and they've said that the uh, you know the place is great and they, they do a really good job i'll put the just given link in here so you can have a bit of a read about it obviously I've, i don't have children myself and before i didn't really know that they were struggling before the sos so i didn't know much about them but i'll put the just given link in in the description if you want to give a couple of pennies to help remain you know keep the hospice open that's up to you but the run's going to be in witness today it's being scheduled an old friend of mine michael old i've got him on facebook he's uh, scheduled this and um so it's going to be taking part from the Hub and Witness. I'm going to meet up with Jake on the RS660. He's featured in a couple of videos previously. Um, so I'm just on my way now to Edge Lane McDonald's uh, or Edge Lane Starbucks, which is the start point. We're, we're, we're then going to ride to Witness and uh, see who <laughs> see who's turned up. It could be a loud and rowdy one, so I'm going to film the whole run. Um, just, you know, no editing, just a basic long run, just like we would a leg run videos if you've been back and watched them or if you're returning from an egg run video you'll be familiar with how these charity runs work it's basically a mass ride out but you're going to see all sorts of people all sorts of machines um great community events everyone gets in the, the bikers chip in you know that's a couple over there they're probably heading to witness now there's six bikers in a group obviously they're getting there a bit early we're not going to get there dead early my bike's saying half ten it's not it's half nine uh, the clocks have just gone back so I have to stop confusing myself but they're probably gone to witness now we're, we're expecting around two to three hundred bikes and because we've been gifted such a lovely morning as well it's cold but it's sunny and it's uh, relatively dry which means all the sort of fair weather heroes will be out as well so you know it's going to be a good turnout um, so let's just go there and uh, see what happens uh, I'm filming in I've changed my filming settings as well. I was looking back on my videos now, as much as I love the, the hyper view, um, like the sort of super wide angle lens, I found it was quite distorting. Um, and also I was filming in 5.3K. Now, I don't even know if any monitors or TVs have 5.3K yet. I've never heard of it, but apparently it eats your battery and eats your data. So my file sizes have been massive. So I've bumped it down to 4K and super view as opposed to hyper view so hopefully now i can get obviously more battery life um, and my file sizes won't be as big just looking into next year there's going to be things that i do differently and obviously i want to try and bring tt episode two uh, you know season two if you want of the tt races next year and i'll bring some content in between like this uh, there's another toy one at christmas time for all the hay children's hospital i'll film that as well um that's set up by adele Ree. she's been doing them for years so anyway look i'm gonna knock this off now and we'll uh, we'll we'll get the tape rolling again when we're at starbucks and we see jay right okay i can see the uh, the weird mermaid with her legs up in the air by her ears or whatever the starbucks logo is supposed to be so i think i'm here and there should be an aprilia rs660 somewhere um that should be jake's so we'll come in not here i'm assuming he's parked right on the side yeah there they are he's got a front as well love that stage one guys coffee and then we'll head over to witness so i'll see you at the other side um, just had a little coffee there so now we're going to make our way over to the hub witness thing we'll get there at half 10 which is a good half hour before the run starts so not um anti-socially late so saying according to wage we're going to go on to oh, edge lane here probably the 62 um, it's only going to take about 18 minutes it says probably less on the bike um, as soon as we can get out of here that is as me and Jake said, I haven't seen a terrific amount of bikes. I've probably seen 10 or 12, but it, you know, the run doesn't start till 11, so. Here he is, 
good to have Jake back on the channel. He's been away for a little while. New job, um, so hasn't had much time on the bike. Uh, Sean here on the Triumph DR model street triple, lovely example. And myself on the Daytona. So uh, yeah, decent little trio going up to the ride here. St. Helens Witness exit is, t is on our left um, so I was thinking we were going to be doing the expressway but that's wrong it's closed so Waze luckily is uh, taking us another way this little tool here has saved my bacon on many occasion because if it wasn't for the Nosley expressway I'd have no idea how to get to Witness I know there's a sign on the wall but um, <laughs> it's um, it's about knowing the, uh, the, the the interior roads like we're going to the hub in witness which is a biker meet on a monday i've not yet been um, well i have been once but it was only just to meet someone and then head off to the uh, to the scotch so it'd be a nice chance to see the hub and the people that run the place You alright Mike? Okay. How are you bud? Here we are, it's very well organised <laughs> Nice, here we are, the hub witness. We have the volunteers over there doing raffles and collections for Zoe's place. We'll do a panoramic now of the bikes. All the bikes that have shown up, absolutely fantastic turnout. There's me. Absolutely fantastic turnout. So, still more to come, I'd assume, in the next 20 minutes. We're amongst the back. People got here really early, so, right. I'll do some more videos as and when. The rest of the route is, will continue as normal. Please give yourselves no space in front of you, don't want no accidents. We have got a first aid if anyone needs it, anyone bikes brakes, he's got a jump pack as well. And that's not just a defect. Um, I probably need that at the end of it. Right, so if you all get geared up, we're going to get ready to go in about five minutes I'll say. And we're going to go left, we're going to close that end off. Wayne's going to close, stop that topic there just so we can get all the bikes out in one line. Have a safe ride guys, thank you. <laughs> you. Right then, um, we're back on the helmet camera. That was uh, Michael, who as he said, is assisting with the organization for this thing, um, giving us a little sort of, uh, a little briefing for, for what to expect and obviously um, the ride, sort of the route and that. So. It hasn't been done before, so this is a first time for everyone. So, um, I don't know what to expect. I'm just going to leave the camera running um, and then I'll try and obviously edit it. You know, I'm not going to leave it to be like a full. I can imagine because there's about 
a couple of probably a couple of hundred bikes i'm assuming i'm not going to just sit here and leave the camera running in loads of traffic so i'll um i'll film us sort of leaving here and then i'll just try and chop it back in when uh, we're, we're we're sort of free free flowing um i'm just going to leave the camera running i'm not going to um turn it on and off because I've, i'm recording in 4k i've gone down to 30 frames so i'm hoping that the camera should last us the entire run it's only west derby in liverpool so anyway without further ado i'll get on the bike and the next time i cut back in we'll just be about to leave the hub in witness so again thanks for you know sticking around and watching the video and uh, we'll speak to you in a minute this is the sore left hand part where it's all clutch control <laughs> Right, so we're breaking off there and going left. So today isn't an actual police organised ride, so we won't have right of way on the junction, so we are still going to have to stop at traffic lights, etc. It's not like the old days when the runs were fully organised by police and all the junctions were, were, were blocked off. This is just going to be a normal ride over to West Derby to the uh, to the Zoe's place, hospice place. So, um, yeah, we should get out in this group. Here's Jake. Okay, we're almost on. I think we can take this. I think me and Jake have taken this line commandingly. There's the Zoe's place video. <laughs> This is where I kind of wish automatic motorbikes were a thing. Okay, we're actually rolling. Great turnout as well. Obviously, the um, the public here, the, the locals. And we're moving. They like say they've uh, blocked the road off there. I think the yellow shirt guys might be organisers or junction blockers or something. There is supposed to be bike marshals with us now, um, so I imagine they're going to be doing junctions for us. It should only take about um, you know 30 seconds, 40 seconds to get all the bikes through if it's done properly. I guess when it's times like this, it's just a case of follow the bike in front because I wouldn't know how to get to West Derby from here. Um, the bike in front has in fact left us. If you get lost, just uh, carry on and then look for the hundreds of motorcycles in front of you. You can't go too wrong. Uh, but obviously, like I said, there's no um, right of way for the bikes on this run. So normal traffic laws apply.
still got three miles to go, so fair bit of riding yet. Saying eight minutes on the phone. Sounds well. Lovely decals on it. I've got it on me sat now, have you got to go back and round? Go past where we're going. Yeah, we should have gone down Princess Drive, mate, so we're going to go right on the roundabout and then back on ourselves. <laughs> this is the problem with runs, you look at the person in front of you, They've got a yellow ribbon and a teddy and you think they definitely know where they're going, but they don't. <laughs> uh, it's all part of the fun, we're going to get there. Everyone's donating and stuff, so it's not a race. So my handy sat nav's telling me it's right at the roundabout here. Uh, but at least you've got to see Old Hay Children's Hospital, you'll see that again, again at the end of the year. For um, no doubt another spectacular run, it's that, and that one is actually controlled and monitored by police and, and travel and marshals and stuff. They close off the uh, the junctions and stuff properly for that one. So um, again, this one was a was a late notice sort of short short notice turnaround. There was, there was no sort of official marshals in place, but um, still for a good cause, regardless of how we get from point A to point B. As you can see, bikes are just arriving from all different angles. <laughs> I don't know how these people have gone that way. Um, but yeah, anyway, 0.3 miles, we're almost there folks, <clears throat> and the camera's still alive, winner winner, I'm not talking to myself, which I have done several times by the way, there would have been more videos but the camera has just stopped and I've not noticed and I've been talking to myself for like a solid half hour, well I'm talking to myself anyway, but if the camera's recording it's like a little less insane. Here he is, here's Michael, we know you've made it. <laughs> Cut the sound. <laughs> give the kids a rev. That older hay is the same, mate. Older hay, give them the rolling thunder when we come in. Okay, back on the iPhone. We just arrived. Um, Bit of, a, bit of a mad one, there was all sorts of different routes going on but ultimately here we are, Zoe's place, West Derby um, we're amongst the first 60-70 bikes here um, here comes a steady stream of traffic I think because it was an, a pretty unorganised event in terms of like road marshals everyone just ended up going their own way but we've all got here so here we are So just leaving uh, Zoe's place now, it was a lovely run, seeing a couple of old mates. Um, young Jack made an appearance, a little shout out for you in his car. He was working this morning, didn't have time to join in with the, with the run, so um, honorary mention for him. Um, still got Jake and Sean with us, we're now going to go home. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's now half past 12, so it's been a pretty decent morning guys. Um, hopefully you've been...